Hello everyone, Trina here from There is a Card for That.ca and we're live, so that means it's a haul video. Yay! Um, so it's kind of a mixed bag. I had ordered the April card kit from Simon Says Stamp and it's not here, so I guess it's getting its own video. Um, so I've got some things from just Michaels and I've got some things from um, Studio Katia, which I am so excited about. Uh, not just because she makes really pretty stuff, but because she's Canadian and I'm Canadian. So shout out to Canada. That's so fantastic. And then I have some stuff from my local scrapbook store, uh, Scrap and Dippity. And, uh, I will have links to her down below. We're not affiliated or anything like that. She's just fantastic. She only ships to Canada though. So if you're ever up here, maybe order some stuff because she's great. Um, so I'm going to start with some paper and this is the paper pack that I had used in the totally awesome frog card video. And, uh, like I had said before, I'm trying really hard to, um, use more pattern paper, not just because I have well, not a huge stash of it anymore, but I have some pattern paper and I should use it because I see all these other people using pattern paper and I want to use pattern paper. It's super, it's super pretty. <laughs> so some of the ones in here are fantastic. Like this would be so nice for like a watery border or like a stormy sky. That would be, that would be great. Um, it was this one that I had used for the Bayou backdrop in that frog card. Um, so lots of stuff in here and then these are coastal village. I know in the, in the video I said like colorful cottage or something like that. It's not colorful cottage. It's coastal village and it's a recollection. So store brand, uh, and then a second one. And I wanted this one because it's got foils and how pretty is that? And, oh, I didn't even open this one. Let's do that. Oh, and there goes my camera. I'll cut that part out. <gasps> Sorry about that. Maybe I won't cut it out because we're live. Uh, so we're just going to open this. See how excited I get? Just knocking stuff around. It's craziness. Um, so foils with the, with the yellow and gold. I don't know what I'll use that for. But like super springy stuff in summer and it's pineapples. <laughs> Everybody likes pineapples, right? And just some fun designs. I don't think I'll ever use that. I don't know what I would ever use that on, but it's pretty. So that's fun. I'll give it to my daughter, maybe. I don't know. Um, some border pieces and some wood. So super fun. Again, sorry about knocking the camera. Um, I also got these little ink pad from Craftsmart at Michael's and I like ink. I don't know if anybody knows that. I'm a real fan of ink. I don't use it a lot because I prefer to color my stuff but I like to have all the colors. Um, I haven't tried these yet so when I do I'll let you know and I was really like looking at the top and like look at all the different colors but it turns out like these three are the same and these two are the same. <laughs> And these purples are the same. So it'll be good because my daughter, who's five and a half, she also really likes um, ink, mostly to go on her skin. But we're working on that. We're, we're working really hard on making sure that the ink stays on the paper and not on her hands or face or neck, anything else like that. Um, to go along with those, they had a pack of glitter. And so it's more of a chunky glitter than the fine glitter that I usually use. Um, so there's lavender, uh, mint, light rose. And I think this will go good with that Copic combination that I like to use, the R85, 83, and 81. Because it looks just old-fashioned and Victorian. It's so pretty. Um, slate blue. Uh, so these will go in shakers or I'll put them on something. Oh, they're already on me. <laughs> I've 
haven't even opened them and I'm wearing glitter already. Uh, champagne and white. So that came with those six. And then it also came with these flowers in the same colors. And these are fantastic for shaker cards. I've used them in that fairy shaker card. And I mean, I try and have my haul before I actually play with my stuff, but who am I kidding? I get home and I'm like, let's tear off all the packaging. Like sometimes I get in the car and I start opening stuff up and, and my kids, they just laugh at me. They're like, mom, seriously, but I can't even help it. <laughs> They're so pretty. Look at how pretty these are. Um, so all the flowers and that and yeah, all the same colors, sleet, blue, and they're just shiny. I like to use them in my backgrounds. And then they had Tombos on sale and I didn't even know they carried Tombos. Like, who knew? I didn't know. Now we all know. Um, I have never, ever, ever used these. Like, I haven't even opened these packages yet. Um, so we are going to do that right now. Handily, I have a piece of watercolor paper and a craft mat here. It's almost like I knew, right? Uh, so, oh, it's a little, a little firm. I can get it open. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's really loud. Um, so it comes with nine colors and then this blending brush, maybe? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out what that's for. Um, we're going to go with orange because I really, really like orange. And they have this little bullet one. And I think that's for like, oh, it's for like journaling. And that's what my writing looks like. It's not, it's not spectacular <laughs> at all. Um, nice bright colors. I mean, that's probably why they have it in the one called bright, right? And then just take this and blend it out. So good. I don't know how it'll work yet on regular paper because I like to do that. I like to add stuff. So hopefully we'll see some stuff with that. Like you've seen my zigs. So maybe soon we'll see some Tombos. That'll be fun. I really like the, the pale colors. So that one was just with water. And then we're going to do this and we're going to, ooh, whoops, find out what this does. I don't even know what's in it. I don't even think it says on the back. Does it say on the back? Water-based? Nope. Tips are self-cleaning after blending, though. I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess it's just a, maybe it's just water in here. Maybe you can refill them. That would be handy. Though I probably don't need to because both packs came with one. Um, yeah, I probably won't use this. Maybe for my watercolor pencils, so I can get right in there. And just keep rubbing it, and I guess it stains, but gets clean so that there's no transfer. I don't know. So those are pretty exciting. Put that back. I haven't decided how I'm going to store them yet, because they come in this nice little package, but it's a little hard to open, so we'll just see. And so I got that in the Bright palette. And the pastel palette because pastels how awesome are pastels like they're so pretty and I figured like they would probably they would probably blend pretty well like tone colors I don't know we'll see um so that is it from Michaels and then from studio Cadia and this was so fantastic I ordered on Saturday in the afternoon and of course they don't do anything on a Saturday because um, it's the weekend and I got my email on Monday saying hey guess what we've sent your stuff and then I got an email on Tuesday saying guess what your stuff is here so that was super exciting like two-day turnaround I've never had that uh, I got this little tray and that's going to be great for what's coming up next um, so just this cute little triangular plastic tray, and I mean, I have trays, everybody has trays, right? Um, but I like the triangle stuff because you can put it back into the bags better. And it comes with this little birthday card. Oh, that's nice. That's super nice. And then oh, I'll get to that one. Uh, I got the 
Central Park sequin mix. Like, look at how pretty that is. That's going to go so well with these other sequins that I have. Let me tell you, I, I think maybe if you guys want and you can let me know in the comment section down below or over on my blog, which will be linked down below. Um, if you like to see my embellishment collection, because if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know I'm a fan of them. I really have a problem, I think. <laughs> I think I have a, a real problem. And then I got two packages of the iridescent crystals and they're so pretty like these are just so pretty and then I'll show you what the little tray is for so when you're doing your thing you just pour them into the tray so they don't get everywhere and you select out your sizes they have a bunch of different sizes in here I think they have I don't know can you see that uh, big ones and medium ones and ooh, smaller ones oh and there it is super small ones so those would be good for uh cards and i like the iridescent and the clear just because they coordinate with everything right I'm like look at how fun that is get the tray get the little triangular tray like they probably won't stay in these bags maybe they will i don't know and then i got the clear sequins and they just they just sparkle. They're like diamonds. I can just pretend <laughs> a smuggler or something and these are like secret diamonds. No, I probably won't do that. I'll, uh, I'll probably just use them on the cards. But it's fun to pretend that I have, you know, a bag of diamonds in all the different sizes. And then that. And then I got the iridescent bubbles. And I was really surprised when I opened my package from Studio Cadia and these were in there because I didn't order them. <laughs> so I kind of freaked out a little bit and sent her an email saying, uh, one small thing, these were, these were in my package and I don't know why. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't an error or something like that or whatever. But she's like, nope, they're just a thank you gift for ordering. And maybe it's because, you know, my birthday's in a week and because it was my first order I don't I don't even know like I've never done that before but those will be super fun like I don't know if you can just see how pretty those are um so whoops that is everything from Studio Cadia and so they're gonna make their way into my other stuff and then from Scrap and Dippity Surprise, I got lawn fawn stuff. So <laughs> I got the little fireflies, which they were on like one of my lists to get because I mean all of lawn fawn stuff is on my list. Well, not really like those basket makers and stuff like that because I don't really do those. Um, but these, and then because I got the chibi lights, I was like, I'm gonna need the, the fireflies because what lights up better than a firefly, right? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Maybe light switch, but I don't have the light switch one because that one I really, I really don't want right now. <laughs> You'll probably see it in the future. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, so, but these are, these are super cute and they've got like this little heart trail and hope your day glows with happiness or, you know, you glow with happiness and like they're sized so nicely because Lawn Fun, they just, everything works together. It's so fantastic. So I'm very excited about those. Um, I got the simple grassy hillside borders and I was already into this <laughs> for that Easter tag card that I had made. I used this one. Um, so I like tucked it back in here cause there'll be a secret. It'll be a secret that I used it and be like, Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing it here in, here in this haul video. <laughs> it's not, it's not the first time I'm seeing it at all. Uh, so uh, those will be good because I have the straight border so I asked her to get the simple one in because I'm like oh that would be good because inside the pivot pop-up card it's arched or you know hills it's better than flat I live in prairie prairies everything's flat here and then I was in the store and she got the grassy hillside borders in <laughs> and I was like well I might as well might as well get them all because it's uh yeah, so I have noticed that the little connector pieces are a little bit uh, thicker than usual, but whatever, as long as they still trim and cut, 
So those will be good as well. I'll just put that over there. We're almost done. Um, I did get a Ken Oliver color burst in olive green. And this is going to go with my Bayou card because everything in my life right now is going to revolve around those, um, those frogs. <laughs> because I gotta say, they are probably my favorite of the season. Um, so this, if I can get the lid off without this poofing everywhere, it's a, it's a powder. And I've never tried this before, for real. Like I wasn't into this before I before I did the haul video. So I'm just gonna use my distress sprayer and spray up my paper. Good and soggy. And then you just tap, maybe shake. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's so pretty. Ooh, and exciting. Which is funny because I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Maybe you can. The powder looks brown, ochre burnt umber I don't know but ooh, that's so fun <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing in a new video real quick here just full backgrounds it's like fireworks on my background oh that's so fun <laughs> so she has a whole bunch of these so there's an excellent chance since it's my birthday next week that this is happening <laughs> this is gonna happen a lot and I kind of like that it's so hard to get the lid off concentrated watercolor powder with fine tip applicator I don't think I would touch this to water but I don't know maybe I would I don't even know so I'm just gonna sop that up and then uh, once this dries I'll put a picture of it at the end of the video because even though like I'm filming live it's not going up today it'll go up when it goes up like maybe tomorrow so I can say like, see, I do that with things other than lawn fawn, except for, you know, the lawn fawn things that I got in this video. Oh, look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Just, I might make bookmarks out of that. Oh, that's so fun. I can't wait to have that as a background behind the bayou, like all swampy and like, bleh. Like, see what I'm saying? The bayou and those frogs, they just, they just get me. And then I'm gonna grab this paper. To make sure this is dry um, because I finally picked up this is the last thing uh, Nuvo Glimmer Paste and I have also never opened this and I have texture pastes and embossing pastes embossing paste is that what it's called I don't know um, yeah I think it is oh it's really stuck on there and I have like stuff I made to myself. Oh, that's thick. That's super thick. Okay. Um, so that got mixed around. I'm just gonna scrape that off like that. And I have no idea how thick this is. I decided to get the purple because my other friend's birthday is coming up and her favorite color is purple. My favorite color is orange, which is really funny. So Halloween, both of our favorite holidays, we just do stuff. And oh, that's really thick. And so I'll have a picture of this one at the end as well when it dries. But this would be so fun through a stample, uh, a stample, <laughs> not a stample. That's not a thing. Um, through a stencil. Um, but oh, that's that's really thick. And it could be, like I said before, it's it's still winter. It's snowed three separate times so far today, and it is almost one o'clock in the afternoon three separate times and that's almost worse than it just snowing all at once because it's like pulling off a band-aid really slowly it's like ooh, ooh. okay we'll wait oh like no just just rip it off do your 20 centimeter which is about eight inches for my american viewers um of snow oh that dries really quickly oh i should i should clean this up um in the next couple days and it doesn't seem to fail like it'll be super nice for a few days and then I get a work schedule and they're like mother nature's like Haha, too bad for you you have to drive on these roads again because I'm gonna snow so that's pretty cool what's this color called tanzanite I don't know what that is tanzanite lavender that's really pretty it's very thick oh still wet so more glitter on me Big surprise, right? 
Um, so for cleanup with embossing paste, or as this one is, glimmer paste, um, I like to do a preemptive cleanup just so it doesn't dry in place, which this one is. You even see this? Like, this is in real time. Like, holy dina. Um, wipe everything down with a damp cloth or a baby wipe. And then I immediately take my stencil, especially, uh, to the sink and uh, clean that off just with warm water and a nail brush <laughs> because I don't use it for my nails. It's like that buffing block that I had before, right? Remember this? Remember that for the paper edges? Um, clean that off because once your texture paste or your glimmer paste, I'm assuming, uh, dries in place, it's super dry. <laughs> It's not going anywhere. It's like chiseling off glue. Like, look at that. I didn't even use this side. Holy crap. And, uh, yeah. So that is that. And, like, I don't know if you can see the sparkle in the picture. Like, can you see how shiny that is? I don't know. Maybe. I'll see if I can get a picture of how shiny it is. And it's like, it's like sugar. It's going to make me want to bake because I do that too. Mostly I bake when I'm sad though, so work is like, oh, are you sad today? Because we could use some cookies. But I haven't been sad because things are going pretty awesome right now. The new job is fantastic. I haven't worked in five and a half years because I was a mom. Well, I'm still a mom. <laughs> you just don't stop being a mom, right? Um, but I didn't go back to work after my youngest was born. And so it was, it was pretty stressful finding a new, a new job. But it's part-time and look at all the new fun things I can get. Um, this is so pretty. Oh, oh, okay. See, the powder is kind of, kind of brown. Didn't soak in all the way. Oh, let's see what happens when we add more water. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is probably my favorite thing here. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, this is so fun. I think maybe when I do the backdrop for whichever card I'm going to make, I'll just do a separate video of me doing the backdrop. <laughs> And you can just hear me, and we'll do that one live, okay? We'll do that one, like, not, like, streaming live, but, like, we'll do one so you can actually hear my thought process. Because I feel like you guys are kind of enjoying my commentary in some of my videos based on the comments I've received. Um, and, yeah, that's that's actually how my brain works. That's what's going on in my head. It's funnier when I'm cooking because I'm like, oh, we need more icing. And it's like, no, no, you don't. You have more icing than cake at this point. Um, but I don't really bake cakes anymore. Um, I, I like cookies. Cookies are good. Oh, that is so... Oh, it's still dripping. Wow, that is a lot of color. Good thing it's like... Look at that. Check that out. It's like tie-dye. Oh, you know what would be super awesome? I wonder if this is like waterproof when it sets. Uh... On what surface? Apply it with a wet brush. Dissolve in water. I wouldn't do that. That doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, you can speed dry it with a heat tool. I am going to <laughs> get a plain white shirt and uh, we're going to color it up. And I'm going to figure out how I can film that for you because <laughs> I know shirts have nothing to do with cards, but that is fun. <laughs> it's super fun. Okay, so I'm just going to ramble on and on and on. So I'm going to let you good people go and we can all look forward to a fun videos with all these fun new toys. So thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing. It means the world to me. I get so excited when it's like, oh, you have a new subscriber. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so ridiculous, right? But it is, it's, it's so fun. And with all the positive comments and feedback and everything that I have gotten from everybody, it's just, it's so encouraging. And it just, it makes me so happy. So yeah, once again, lawn fawn. Maybe one day I'll have a, a haul that doesn't have lawn fawn. And my, my pretty thank you gift. And ooh, moving my mat around. Tell I'm not used to that. My bag of smuggled diamonds. Not really, but I'll probably mention that a lot in the future. <laughs> and the iridescence. And anyway, okay, so I'm gonna go for real. And thank you all so much for watching. I will have links to my Canadian scrappy store, not Studio Cadia. Well, maybe I'll link to her um, down below because Selena, who runs Scrap and Dippity, was so nice to say, yeah, please talk about me. And <laughs> um, I will have pictures of this and I will have pictures of this. And 
I'll include a picture of this just because it'll feel sad. It'll feel sad if I, if I leave it out. And oh, this really does get everywhere. So thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.